Hi, and welcome to Chef Maxwell's Kitchen. We're here at the Farm Bureau where we get a chance every month to play with different kinds of foods, great foods. We want you to know that all of Virginia's foods are fresh and local, and that's a good thing to do no matter where you are. All right, we're going to do a complicated dish here. We've got soft-shell crabs, we've got a potato salad, and we've got a sauce that we're going to put together. We're going to start with the sauce. I've put some white wine, some honey, some peppercorns, and, and some lemon juice in here, and I'm reducing it down. Now what I'm going to do is add some heavy cream, because after all, fat is our friend. Right? And I'm going to put the heavy cream in there. Now this has got to reduce for a little while. I'm going to stir that up. Right? And I'm going to let this reduce. I'm going to put it on a different burner. Right? And I'm going to put that there and let that come to a boil and reduce. When it comes to a boil, I'll show you what it looks like because you, you can overboil fairly easily. Now I've got another pan here. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in it. We're getting ready to do our potato salad as soon as that's hot. So we're going to add some green peppers. All right, and we're going to add some onions right, and some red peppers. All right. All right. All right. We, we don't want to cook this too much. We just want to soften up the vegetables right, just a little bit. Add a little bit of celery. Right. Now, these are nice and soft. We're going to add these to the potatoes. Now I've got some red potatoes that I've already cooked. I'm going to add the vegetables. And some mayonnaise. And some bacon that I already cooked. And some pepper. Some salt. And some horseradish. Now I'm going to mix all of this up and let that sit for a while until it chills down good. I'm going to set that over here, and we're going to get ready to work on our crabs. I'm going to add some more oil here. Soft-shell crabs come in two varieties, just like all life forms do. All right, and I've got here, I've got a male crab called a jimmy, right, and a female crab called ma'am. Right, you can see the difference in the apron on the bottom is how you tell the difference between a male and a female crab. Male, here's narrow, thin, and the female is broad and rounded. Right? When we clean these, right, we take that apron off right, for both of them. Then we scoop out the gills. These are often called the dead man's fingers. They are not poisonous, right? although some people think they are. They are just not very good. So we take these out, and since we wind up eating all of a crab, we want to take the bad parts out. All right, so now I've got three bowls. I'm going to take the crab, dust it in flour, dip it in milk with a little egg. i got one egg and a half a cup of milk here. And now I've got some more flour mixed with cornstarch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are going to go into the saute pan. And these are going to have to cook for about three or four minutes. So we're going to take a little bit of a break while these cook. And we'll come back and finish the sauce, and we'll finish the crabs. All right, we've got a sauce here that we started earlier. It's a beurre blanc sauce. So now we're going to get that good and hot. I've reduced it to about a third of its original volume. All right, and now that it's hot, I'm going to add some butter and just swirl this butter around in it to thicken it because it's the fat that emulsifies with the cream 
that makes this a really rich, nice sauce. And we're going to take some potato salad. It's beautiful, beautiful potato salad. And it is good, too. Uh -huh. And we're going to take our crab. We've got two beautiful soft shell crabs here. Like that. Put that over here. And now we're going to take our beurre blanc sauce right, and just drizzle a little bit of it over that. to give it a nice honey lemon beurre blanc sauce. Beautiful food, local, fresh, Virginia grown. Come back next time when we get a chance to play with our food again. For more delicious recipes using Virginia grown fruits and vegetables, contact Lisa Lloyd at the Virginia Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services at 102 Governor Street, Richmond, Virginia, 23219. Chef Maxwell's recipes are listed on the Virginia Farm Bureau website at www.vafb.com.